Like, I get it. Like, it's the whole, gory, like, though. I get hype. I mean, like, how good can the graphics be? <laughs> like, well, yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's terrible because it's, like, late 70s or whatever, but... Um, there's a lot of blood, though. Is there? Yeah. Ready? Can you tell the Invisalign? You have a minute? No, I couldn't even tell. Hey y'all, I'm working with Steve and we've worked together before and I'm just here to show you some behind the scenes and how it's like working with him, how it's like working with me behind the scenes. So you want to tell him how long you've been doing this? Uh, I've been doing this for about four years now. Um, I've worked with Liana, I think this is our fourth time working together. Our fourth time? I think. I don't know if I was in counting. <laughs> I will be I showing you before. some photos. I, yeah, I know I we've been shooting for years now. so It's been a long time <laughs> since our last shoot. A year? A year and a half? I think so. Jesus. Yeah, it's been a very long time. How would you describe your style of shooting? Um, I've been mostly shooting portrait and boudoir. Um, my style... I honestly don't know what to say for style. Um, a little bit of everything, I guess. Yeah, kind of a little bit of everything. Uh, I like bright, like bright colors. Um, yeah, I try to have like pops of colors in like my shoots. Yeah. I think it's kind of like when we shoot, you could tell like it's not the same. Like from when we it's first different. shot, and then our, from our very first shoot. Yeah, you could tell like, like they're just di totally different styles. Yeah, but our yeah. first one was outdoor, and then I think you were my first boudoir like type shoot. What? I think. Really? I think so, yeah. With the Cause I like black the... stockings or whatever, I think. That's what I was wearing. Well, or I don't know. With the one with the balloons, would you call that boudoir? Oh, kind of. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that our second shoot? Balloons. I think that was our second. Yeah, I'll show you the one with the balloons, but I think, wasn't that the same one as the stocking? Was that the same day or no? I think it was different. Was it a different day? You may be right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I have to look at my hair. That's always how I gauge it, was how did my hair look. See the length? The length <laughs> I gotta look at my makeup. Can't, cause I never, you can never recreate that, that, that look. Yeah, I think, I think the balloons one was our second shoot. The balloons one, okay, okay. Okay, I think you may be right. Cause I, and the glitter. Glitter. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The glitter, the glitter, and then the restroom shoe. Mhm. Mm yeah. And I had like purple glitter all over me. One tube. We thought we needed more, but that <laughs> one glitter just got all you over the place. You did a good job with that. <laughs> yeah, glitter. I still have glitter on me. Hey, you probably had glitter for days. Right? <laughs> I still have glitter. Finding, I still find purple glitter. Finding glitter. This shoot like, was yeah, like two years ago. <laughs> on some clothes. And, yeah. Probably. All right, and so we're gonna do like. I think we're gonna do boudoir, and then we're gonna do like portrait today. I yeah. guess that's how you describe um, it. We're gonna do some outdoor. Yeah, some flowers. Um, always gotta work with flowers. Always gotta do flowers. I'll show you all the flowers I have. And they smell so good. <laughs> <laughs> so these are all the flowers I have. I wanted to use um, actual flowers, but in this heat, it's hard to find flowers that'll live in my car on the drive, so I had to go to Walmart and all their flowers were dead too, so I had to buy fake flowers. These are from my room. Of course, I have vines all over the place. And so we're gonna be doing, this is just like one look, is with flowers. We have another one we're gonna do outside where it's gonna be like a, I wanna say lifestyle, but kind of just like an outdoor feel, I guess. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna do flowers, that's probably gonna be implied. We have moss, we have some rocks. We have lingerie. We and have nice Airbnb. Oh, and we have this nice Airbnb. I'm gonna yeah. give y'all a little bit of a tour because it's kind of small, but it's like so <laughs> cute because like all these corners are just like we haven't done before. It's so look we haven't done before, so it's exciting. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to shoot? I'm ready to shoot. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna show you guys a quick tour around the place.
how to do the behind the scenes look and working and talking in front of a camera because I haven't really recorded and put a video together so I'm working on that so I really appreciate some feedback. The models they shot with with vibrant colors I'm going to go ahead and put the links to their Instagram account so you can follow them and see more of their work. In the beginning of the when I was showing you guys the footage behind the scenes you can see the clip where Steve kept moving the plant and it just got kind of funny because like he would move the plant and realized he didn't like it there and then I would adjust my posing and then he would adjust the plant so each time he would just adjust, adjust the plant and it just became kind of like a joke like the plant doesn't belong there and then we just started moving different things and joking that the Airbnb hostess is gonna be like did somebody reorganize in here because we just kept moving stuff around to make the look that we want to work so I hope it will show in the photos that these little adjustments did work the footage I did not show was the implied shoots and the lingerie shoots. That's something you can just see on my Instagram, but I just didn't want to post the footage here on YouTube. There's this, there was also some of the footage where I was leaning up against the wall, but my bun was kind of like preventing me from doing like the movement that I wanted to do, and I was just not being graceful at all. I kept like losing my balance. For some reason, I could not get my balance and have my bun. I guess a lot of models will know like some of the most uncomfortable like positions. You have to try to make it look graceful and natural when you're just trying to like flex it in your like core and just trying to hold it together. After we were done with the applied, the flower shoots, the flower shoots were a part of the implied, which I did not show. If you do, again, if you want to see those, go to my Instagram account. But after 
those looks, we went outside where I had the skirt in a crop top and under my skirt was a picture of a kitty. So we thought that would be a fun, playful looking shoot. Um, when we went outside, the mosquitoes kept biting me. So you see me just like constantly like scratching. After a while, my legs were just red. So we just, this, that shoot that we did outside was very short. But I we really did get some good photos out of it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. For me, it's always great working with Steve because it's always just a great experience. And we just like, again, we just like mesh together so well with our creativity. Let me know of any content that you'd like to see in the future and I'll try to get to them. Thank you for watching.